When we think of intelligence, only one picture comes to mind. An organism that is capable of some movements and interactions with the rest of the world. So an intelligent agent is the one that changes the environment for its own advantage. This is not the central point that today's AI is taking. They usually think of predictive AI. Some images are there, I want to predict what is happening in the images. There are some sequence of letters, I want to predict the next letter in the sequence. We know how to solve specific tasks where the scenario of the task or the scene in which that task lives is relatively stationary or pre-specified. And that is where the robotics is today. What we are after is to create AI agents that are flexible, general, and is able to evolve over time in unseen situations. The perspective that we take is, let's look at a human baby, an infant, and it's trying to learn different skills over time. The babies observe a lot. They see a lot of things around them, and they are not initially capable of interacting with them. Initial learning comes from the passive modalities, that we are trying to build paradigms that is an active combination of passive experiences and active experiences. The passive experiences, the way we capitalize them, is from internet data, human videos, a lot of pictures. And usually you can think of these passive experiences give real world priors or real world understanding to our agent. Then the self experiences or the things the agent is trying themselves in their own embodiment helps connect this hallucinated world where we know something about to the true world and how my embodiment is actually going to work in that true world. Our approach is basically a robot is placed in a particular scene and you instruct the robot maybe through a goal image or through a language instruction of what it should do and it just does that particular task. So that is the level of generalization we are after. One of the main aims of uh, AI is to enable systems that can help people in their everyday tasks. And one of the ways of doing that is by actually deploying robots that live in the physical world in people's homes, offices, and other places that can help them solve everyday tasks. When we learn multiple skills together, the agent is able to internalize the common structure that is shared across all these skills. If I know how to open a microwave in this particular room, I would know how to open a similar microwave in maybe my own home or in another office and so on, because the details of the rest of the scene do not matter. Multitask learning allows us to be able to leverage our experiences across each of these skills and then learn one common thing across all of them. And that one common thing often reflects how the world works. We can act in universal settings, new settings. And this is the holy grail for robotics. This is what is going to take artificially intelligent agents out of robotic cages into our real world. Robotics has always been data hungry and there have been very limited data sets. And what we are releasing is a large data set on very common hardware that is accessible and used by many labs across the world. And I think this will motivate other people to actually join us in this effort and be able to multiply this data set with their own data sets, being able to curate these data sets and hope that other people adopt it and multiply it with their own experiences is going to be critical towards this journey.